Hello my beautiful souls, this is Moonseeker of Light Guardian and today I'm doing a unspoken words conversation between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. So this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest. If this is not your story, it's not your story. I do use he and she for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine but those are just energies, they're not gender based. So this will be the Divine Feminine and this will be the Divine Masculine. So let's see, I'm just going to give you a quick shuffle. And then we're going to see, well, the Divine Masculine wants, wants to talk straight away. So I'm just going to put those to the side. And the Divine Feminine has words to say back straight away as well. So let's just start with the cards that fell out and take it from there. Okay, divine feminine. This does not come. This does not come naturally to me. So what I'm getting from this is the divine feminine is like you know what this does not come naturally to me. This having this kind of conversation um, with you because we don't we haven't talked for a while. We haven't really um, said things that comes from the heart. For a while so i'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable with this this really does not come naturally to me but i'm gonna try my best divine masculine you are never far from my thoughts so the divine masculine's like you know okay i hear you i get you but you know this you're never far from my thoughts i think about you all the time we have had these differences we have had gone through these things but i want you to know that you're never far from my from my thoughts why is this it's because the Divine Masculine is holding on to some burdens that he wants to let go of because he wants to come to you with a message of love. He wants to come to you and let you know that he's, he's ended this cycle, he's put down those burdens. This is why you're on his thoughts because he's carrying this message for you. He wants to tell you how I feel or how he feels. Um, and they, they, this, this is why they're always thinking of you. For the Divine Feminine, why does this not come naturally to the Divine Feminine? What is this about? It's because this is this is the love. This is this is soulmate. This is twin flame. This is my love. This is the person I want to exchange these cups with. I want to exchange a cup with you. I might have done it in the past. You might I might have offered you my cap, cup, and you rejected me. Um, you perhaps perhaps had this energy of of um fighting this conflict where somebody wanted to walk away the winner we had this this struggle and someone wanted to be the winner at all costs they perhaps did some underhanded things they did some some sneaky things they did whatever they could to win but the the jokes on everyone involved here because this was a lose-lose situation everybody walked away defeated nobody walked away a winner what else I dream of you. I dream of you because you're my two of cups. I dream of you because you're the person that I have been exchanging cups with for lifetimes. You know, so know that I dream of you. You're you're also on my thoughts. Divine masculine. My actions and words will match my feelings. So this time around, when this cup is offered again, or when there's an exchange of cups, the divine masculine's like, I'm going to be that person you've been dreaming about i'm going to be that person that i'm going to back my actions and words up i'm going to i'm going to match my feelings with my actions and my words i'm going to actually let you in i'm going to to show you how i truly feel i'm not going to hide things anymore so let's start with the divine feminine here why does the divine feminine dream of the of the divine masculine even though we've seen here with the two of cups let's see why she dreams of him why does she dream of him why does she dream of him because she wants a new solid beginning in the material world a solid offer in the material world from the divine masculine or she wants to offer the divine masculine a solid offer but she wants something new in the material world with a divine masculine why has this shifted for the divine masculine why is he now ready to match his feelings with actions and words 
because things are coming to completion. And if you saw my reading yesterday, um, you will see that there was a lot of talk for the Divine Masculine here about completing cycles. The number 10 came out twice for him. But things things are coming to completion for him. His ending cycles, his clearing karma, his learning lessons. You know, they're both ready to step into the sunshine. They're both ready and have fulfilled themselves so much so, so they are finding their own inner joy, their own inner happiness. And they can now come together and match each other's happiness and joy. Have that self-fulfillment and have that growth and have that um, walking into the sunshine together. Okay, what's next? I feel you. The divine feminine still feels the divine masculine. The energy never left. They never disconnected energetically. They never disconnected in the 5D. The energy was always there. They always felt, or they, always, they still feel the divine masculine. And the divine masculine is in their feels now. So they were not allowing themselves to flow before. They weren't allowing themselves to be in the feels. They might have caught feelings for you, but they didn't actually allow them to be in the fields but now they're in the fields and the divine feminines can feel this you guys might have, sh have have noticed the shift energetically you might have something might have shifted you might have noticed something something that day or that that week when all this shifted for you guys or when it will shift for some of you it hasn't happened yet but when it does you will feel it you will know it your body and soul will feel it so let's have a look at here why is the divine feminine still feeling the divine masculine Why is the divine feminine still feeling? This Ace of Pentacles came out again. Because it's for solid that new beginning. That new beginning is what it's all about. It's new beginnings and moving forward. The chariot here, bottom of the deck. Moving forward with direction and focus. She knows where she's going. She has focus. She has direction. Why is the divine masculine in the field now? Why is the divine masculine in the fields? Because they're learning how to co-create with the universe. They have all the tools they need right here to co-create with the universe and to manifest what it is this truly want. They want to, they also want to manifest a new beginning. And here's the ten of Ten of Wands, another ten. They because they're gonna put these wands down. They're gonna put the burdens down. They're gonna end this cycle. Like they they're so determined. They're determined to put this down. They're not going to hold on to this any longer. Okay, what else? This is killing me. I can't keep it hidden anymore. The divine feminine just wants to come rushing towards the divine masculine and again if you didn't if you didn't watch my reading yesterday watch it because there the divine feminine wanted to come in passionately and quickly towards the divine masculine they just wanted to 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 do it now divine masculine i never caught a feeling this hard what did i just say before they never caught feeling so hard before for you and here it is again i'm in my fields i've never caught a feeling this hard why is this divine masculine you know why because you are my my past love I've done this for lifetimes you are my twin flame you are the person i want to have cause to celebrate with the person i want to go to the chapel with the person i want to have this 11 11 this solid foundation this commitment with the person i want to have a new beginning with because i have my truth and i have my clarity i have opened myself up to the universe and spirituality and all the things that, that are coming down my way because i know i know who you are i remember who you are I was asleep before, but I'm awake now. Why is this killing the divine feminine? Why can't you keep it hidden anymore? Because she knows this is a divine love. She knows this is a divine union. She knows that these you guys are the lovers. She knows this. She's learned how to juggle and to prioritize things. She's learned how to make decisions. She just wants a new start now, a new beginning. She wants to take a leap of faith because she knows that the divine, she knows that the universe will have her back. She wants a new passionate beginning. She wants to put the spark back into this connection. 
She wants to, to reignite the flame. She's always known this. But guys, bottom of the deck. The Knight of Pentacles. So, this is not going to happen overnight. Yes, the Divine Feminine wants to rush in. She wants to do it now, now, now. And I feel like the Divine Masculine wants the same thing. But they both know. We need to take our time. We need to allow things to happen in divine right order. In divine timing. So they're going to nourish this pentacle. They're going to be meticulous. They're going to be efficient. They're going to cross the T's and dot their I's and heal. Grow. Evolve. Level up. So that when they do come back together. When they're back in this sacred union. They're healed. Or healed so much so that they can continue the healing journey together without being too triggered and running and, and, and hurting and doing all those things. I mean, we're, we as human beings are an ongoing project, ongoing healing process. We will always keep on healing, we'll always keep on learning and evolving. But being so healed that you can be in this committed relationship and be in this sacred union and know that, you know, you can stand on your own within this connection. You can continue to heal and continue looking at your heal, at your um, wounds and traumas and heal together or separately. So that is what is going on for the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. So let's just see here real quick. What can we ask the universe here? I want to ask, can you give us a time frame? I'm going to ask for three cards. And could you possibly give us a time frame when this is going to happen when are you going to get back into sacred union yes we know it's going to take some time but we're going to look at is there anything you can give us universe well the first card that uh, came out here is this it could be possible so the universe is saying here yeah i could possibly give you some time frame a time frame so let's see two more cards is it possible for you to give us a time frame is it possible for you to give us a time frame So we have here, yes, but there will be a delay and we have try again later. So yes, the universe is like, yes, I could possibly give you an answer. The answer is yes, uh, I will give you an answer. The answer is there's going to be a delay. Pretty much the same. I told you already. I told you it's going to take some time. And we talk, when we talk about timings, Pentacles talks about years. So this could indicate year, like years. And what's the knights? What the the eleventh card? No, the twelfth card. So twelve years. But that's not really what I'm, what I'm getting here. I'm saying that I'm just getting that pentacles. This is indicating it's gonna take some time. It's not gonna be days. It's not gonna be weeks. It's gonna be months or years. So yeah, it's gonna take a little while. Be patient. It's good things will come to you. So that is what I have for you guys today. Um. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is in the description box below. Also, try again later. We'll come back around and ask this at a later stage and see what the universe says. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And if you can hear in the background, my countdown is going and I have to go or I'm going to get um, my ass whooped by my niece who is now here and I need to go play with her. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.